Yo, what's up Giants fans? No Name here with a quick update video. I literally just finished my live stream and I want to say a quick shout out to all you that tune into my live streams. Thank you so much. Just being there in it and watching is like great support enough of, you know, thank you to all y'all that tune in, everybody that chatted, everybody that asked. Shout out to Dylan. He's the one that was smoking me in Madden, still learning how to play Madden. And still learning how to live stream in general, you know, I gotta learn how to balance the live stream with um, addressing the chat, with coming up to topics to talk with, and I'm glad that you guys are kind of sticking with me through that. And one of the things that came up in the live stream, a couple people brought it up, um, the first person I did was Thurto, Thurto, I keep mispronouncing his name and I apologize for that, but he knows who he is, shout yourself out down in the comments below. Um, and a couple other people brought it up, I think Jersey Life might have brought it up, Daniel Jones has been organizing and you know organizing and following through with workouts down in austin texas for not just you know this is not just a one day thing this is apparently been going on for two weeks now down in austin texas um third show said he saw it on an instagram bit i'm on here on the new york post right now uh with an article and let's just read i'm gonna read out a couple of the articles to you and i'm gonna give you my thoughts um so first thing that hit me obviously when i heard about this is that Every time I turn around, DJ is doing something that makes me makes me smile or makes me proud of him or makes me just love the fact that he's our quarterback. You talk about him working out at Duke earlier um, in the year, and even then, I think he had some Giants wide receivers with him before the whole pandemic situation hit a new you know type of high. You talk about him working out or I guess studying with David Cutcliffe trying to better himself mentally, and of course, he's been talking about you know improving his throwing angles and throwing trajectories things that I am way underqualified to talk about but the really getting into the intricacies and nuances of being an NFL quarterback you talk about him putting on you know nine pounds of muscle to help help him be better when it comes to the point of contact whether it's with retaining the ball and not fumbling or just trying to avoid an injury like he had last year uh, you talk about the leadership stuff off the field but what he posted on Instagram and Twitter and in the social media in regards to the protests and the movements against racial injustices right now that for sure was a big step in terms of a leadership type of thing and you know his locker room mates his teammates took notice of that and they appreciated that Daniel Jones it seems like every week every month no matter what he's doing something that makes you say that's my quarterback and i'm proud that that's my quarterback so with that being said let's get into the actual article here so let's get right into it jones entering his second nfl season organized an off-site throwing and catching program with his skills players once scattered across the country forced to stay out of the giants facility amid the ongoing covid 19 pandemic Last week and this week, Jones brought the group together in Austin, Texas, the Post has learned. The arrangements were helped along by Colt McCoy, the former University of Texas quarterback who signed this season with the Giants and has strong connections to his alma mater. Now that I did not know, that is actually pretty amazing. Colt McCoy, he, he knows the role he's brought on here to do. He's brought on as a backup in the you know unfortunate event that Jones might go down, but also more importantly, as a mentor to Daniel Jones. Now he's no Eli Manning, but Colt McCoy definitely is a experienced veteran in the NFL that could teach DJ a lot. And I'm actually glad to see we brought in somebody that took his job seriously and took it with so much passion to the point that he's helping organize team workouts that have nothing to do with him, right? He's using basically his clout at University of Texas since he played there to help get them, you know, maybe a training facility or just help find a space down in Texas. Uh, and Colt McCoy, I want to stress, he doesn't have to do this. You know, he's a backup QB. He's here to help the guy, Daniel Jones, and he's helping the entire team. And I, and I really like that. The article goes on to say wide receivers Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton and tight end Caden Smith were among, among what was described as a pretty good group of guys in attendance during two weeks of the sessions, which included plenty of football and also a fair amount of golf. This was a come-as-you-go deal, with as many as 15 to 20 players participating at various points in time. Based on several social media posts, receivers Golden Tate, Corey Coleman, and star running back Saquon Barkley and John Hilleman made their way to Austin as well. I was actually going to wonder that. How many people were down there? Because even though Austin is not having, you know, as strict regulations as NYC and New Jersey when it comes to the pandemic and it comes to, you know, determining how many people are allowed to be in a certain area at once. I was also wondering how these guys traveling there with the traveling restrictions and all that. So 
I guess, you know, maybe they were rotating. Maybe it was come and go, you know, some people pulled up for a couple of days and then left. Or maybe they organized in their group chatter somewhere, or even with Joe Judge, because this has been going on for two weeks now. They kind of organized, saying, all right, maybe, you know, Saquon, you'll come down from Thursday to Sunday. Uh, John, you'll come down from Monday to Wednesday or something like that while retaining DJ down there as he's the organizer. And it does bring up, since I brought up uh, Joe Judge, he has to know about this, right? I mean, there's there's no way Joe Judge doesn't know about this, and I'm sure he approves of it for sure, and as long as his players are staying safe, because I think that's Judge's first concern in this hectic offseason. But he for sure knows about this, I'm guessing, and Jason Garrett as well, which is actually mentioned in the article that they were running routes designed by Jason Garrett, and this is the exact quote. Uh, the players were running the routes designed by new offensive coordinator Jason Garrett, discussing the concepts in the passing game together on the field and having Jones get in sync with his targets are all necessary steps that Jones made sure he and his teammates would be able to take during this unusual offseason. And that is another great point that the article brings up, something that I've stated a couple of times. One of the things definitely working against the Giants this offseason is that they're brand new in almost every facet of the game. They're brand new on offense, they're brand new on defense, they're brand new in all the little assistant coaches down to the probably the mopping boy, you know, everywhere on the coaching staff in front office. There's a lot of brand new players there. The offensive line in a way is new. They have to learn how to get to know each other and play with each other. Uh, there's a lot of things a lot of things that this unusual offseason would turn into a negative and they don't have time to practice it, but the fact that Daniel took the step as a young player entering his second year, and this is this is completely a leadership role here, saying, all right, guys, we're going to get together. We're going to go down. We're going to find an offsite founded in Texas with the help of Colt McCoy, who I, once again, you know, I think we should appreciate a little bit more of this signing. And we're going to practice because that's all that we can do. We, that's what we need to do if we're looking to have a good season this year. That That's honestly, that's amazing. That's a great step for DJ, maybe something that was always in him, but a great step towards that leadership role. And you remember when I mentioned he went back to Duke earlier in the video and he carried some wide receivers with him there? Um, the article does mention that and a quote from Daniel Jones himself goes that it was a valuable time and it was valuable to have that experience together. They're basically extending it now and maybe in a way playing in different climate. I'm actually not that sure how different the climate of hot, hot and dry Austin, Texas versus, you know, Duke, North Carolina might be. Maybe they're not that different, but definitely, you know, different setting. Maybe that comes into play as well. But this team, this team is headed in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the quarterback position, obviously. And when your quarterback is doing things like this and trying his best to keep the team together and keep them fresh amid everything that's going on, you know, keep the plays fresh in your mind, get them to actually learn it, you know, get their bodies in tune. Because if your body, you know, you're an NFL player, your body's going to get stiff if you're not constantly moving in all the directions a football player needs to move. This is great. And I mean, that's really all I got to say about it. And I know this video was kind of rushed. I apologize for that, but I, I am kind of strapped for time today. But I do want to get this out, but Daniel Jones and this team, he is kind of propelling this team forward in a way that I did not expect a quarterback, a young, what is he, 22, 23-year-old quarterback entering his second season in an offseason where facilities are shut down, you're not allowed to go with your teammates in certain areas. He's finding a way to do that, and he's doing it on his own. And then, of course, he had help from Colt McCoy, but I'm sure this was an idea that he came up with. Um, this is great, man. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, put your comments and thoughts down below. I think the Giants are definitely going to surprise people because one of the things I always have pinned against them is that they're not going to get to practice and they need it. But here they are and they're practicing. Uh, once again, apologize for the quick video, but time is short and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.